I can hear contented ewes bleating in the background and the lambs are chomping away on the little bits of lucerne that they've got. We've introduced ewes and lambs to this paddock at Ashley Dean. It's the 17th of September, so it's their first day on the lucerne. Next door, you can see through past the ewes and lambs, you can see the coxfoot and lucerne, and that paddock's already been grazed. So the lucerne grass mixtures have been grazed for about two weeks um, ahead, two to three weeks ahead of this pure lucerne stand. But the lucerne stand has the ewes and lambs coming on it now. We're just coming to the end of lambing at Ashley Dean, and um, these lambs are young, but they're enjoying being out in the sunshine. It's a warm Norwest day, about 20 degrees, and it's perfect um, growing conditions for both the lucerne and for the animals. The lucerne's about 15 centimetres tall, and because we haven't had a huge amount of rainfall through the spring period, it's actually um, hardened off a little bit already, and so it's ideal feed for the ewes and the lambs. In this paddock, it's a six paddock rotation, so we're stocked fairly high. We've got 12 ewes plus, twi plus their twins, in most of the case twins. Occasionally we've got singles, they, you can never um, get perfect lambing, but mostly ewes and twins in here at about 12 ewes plus their, their lambs per hectare, and they'll be on a six paddock rotation. This is paddock one, and they'll be in here probably for four or five days to eat the herbage that's, that's in this paddock. If we look at the lucerne that's on offer, if you go down, you can see the lucerne on offer. Um, there's a stem here, and all of this stem is very good quality feed. So what you've got here is a very palatable stem. If I squeeze it, all of it squashes up. And so we actually want the animals to eat all of the lucerne that's on offer to them today in this paddock. As we go further into the rotation, we might find that the bottom part of the stem lignifies, becomes a bit more woody, and then we won't want them to be eating that. But in this case, where we've got about 10 to 15, or 15 centimetres, it's almost perfect um, feed, and we've got the growing point here at the top. The animals will come in, they'll strip this off, they'll strip, strip the leaves off, but actually they'll eat all of it. All of that has, has a very high crude protein content, around 25%, and an ME of around 11 to 12, about 12 when it's like this. Uh, so it's perfect feed for the ewes and lambs to get them going and get those lambs growing quickly through the lactation period in spring.